Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing a pen from Leonardo. Uh, this is the box it comes in, or part of the box it comes in. You can see it's the uh, Pura edition of Pura. Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Grande Pura Anthracite Grey. That is the full title of the pen. It says here, it's the Satin Demonstrator. I'm just gonna call it the uh, the the Pura from here out. Uh -huh. So let's have a look at the, the first. This is the box it comes in. Um, take that cardboard box off, and you get the sort of like the leatherette clamshell box. Comes with a little information book. Comes with everything wrapped in plastic, and you get a bottle of ink and the pen, which I've taken out, of course. Here is the bottle of ink. I got the black uh, one, which was nice. Uh, very simple, 40 mil bottle, but we're all here to see the pen. Now, I have been using this pen um, a lot for the last few weeks. In fact, I've almost run it dry, which is why I thought I'd jump in today and film the review. This is the pen. So, this is the, you can see this is a satin finish. I'm gonna give a couple of details. Firstly, anthracite gray. Uh, as I said, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande uh, Pura. This is the anthracite gray with the ruthenium furniture so it's got the black furniture this pen comes in three finishes the anthracite gray aqua blue and flame orange it comes with three different trims palladium which is the silver yellow gold which is yellow gold and ruthenium which is the black um, i think this combination looks amazing and i just had the black ink from leonardo in here so let's cover the parts and features of the pen so on the top of the pen is this sort of like conical end uh it the cap sort of swells out it's got a lovely clip which is um cut into the body of the pen it's sort of stiff-ish but not too bad it's got the little ball on the end there uh you've got three bands on the cap the cap unscrews um and you can see there's nothing on the edge of the cap there you get a little uh step down off the barrel the barrel then goes down to a little metal ring and then the piston knob this is a piston filling pen and that is the conical end to that nice classic sort of shape pen. The cap unscrews in one and a smidgen screws. It reveals their sort of standard uh, bottleneck grip. Um, the threads on there are smooth. The only, there is a little step down off the barrel, as I said, which you do feel. Um, and then the barrel is cylindrical, then it tapers down and then it's cylindrical. You get a little metal um, end of the section there and then a steel nib branded with the Leonardo, uh, you know, logo and everything. Uh, and this, of course, is the black version based on this pen. And that's it. It is a piston filling pen. It is a bigger pen. This is the Grande, just for size comparison. Here it is alongside the reg regular Memento Zero. And uh, for size comparison along for that, a Lamy Safari. It's a good size pen. Um, so, other basic sort of features before I go into the specs and stuff. It's got an ebonite feed, which is made in-house. The piston system is made in-house. It is a numbered but not limited edition. Um, it is transparent resin with a satin finish, and the finish feels beautiful. This pen feels amazing in the hand. It really does. Uh, and they say that there are more than 20 manually worked details on this pen. So that is the pen. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It writes well. The pen retails for US $295, uh, same 295 euro. Uh, I was able to buy this pen in Australian dollars for 377 Australian dollars uh, from, from Apple Boom. Uh, and Personally, I think that is at the top of its price point for a steel nib. Just saying that, I like. I think that the regular Memento Zero is a, a pretty well-priced pen. It's a bit cheaper. Um, the the Pura is just a little bit sort of more. Specs for this pen. Okay, let's. Uh, so we've got 151 millimeters when it is posted, which is a pretty big pen. As I said, Alami Safari comes in at about 140. Uncapped, it's 137, and this is my preferred way of writing with the pen. I think it's a really good, solid size in the hand at that, you know, 
length. I think the way the length that the nib and the feed projects from the pen is really nice, gives you a good ergonomic position on the page. Posted, it's 173, so it becomes quite big. Um, but the weight of the pen is actually kind of good. So you get a 30 gram pen, 20 of that's in the body, and 10 is in the cap. Unposted, I think it's really well balanced. Posted, I think that the balance goes a little bit back, but it's definitely usable. But at this size, I actually don't think you need to use this pen posted at all. I would be very surprised if there's anyone whose hand is too big, well, within reason, <laughs> uh, for a pen of this size. The section is 13 to 11 millimeters, so a really good size. So I have my regular Clairefontaine paper here. Um, as I said, this pen is just about out of ink, so I hope we can get enough to get the sample done. So we've got the... I'll just give the full name. Okay, so we have the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Pura with an anthracite grey with ruthenium trim. This is a steel medium nib and the ink here is, I'll just say Leonardo Black. So the pen writes quite smoothly. There's a hint of feedback on there, but it is smooth. It writes quite wet. Like, I'm never gonna complain about a pen that writes like that. And the writing experience is just beautiful on the page. The feeling in the hand is quite nice. That grip is surprisingly comfortable. Uh, I hold it sort of back on the threads, so it's a little bit further away, or I hold it, I either hold it further back or I hold it right down. I can't seem to find a comfortable place to hold it across that um, step down there. So I'm either like choking it down on the near the nib or I'm holding it further back on the threads, uh, which does feel a little bit sort of far from the page. But in terms of actual writing experience, you can see it writes beautifully, it writes smoothly. It's a rigid nib. You're not gonna get flex from it. Reverse writing is possible, but you know, it's not like it's wet enough, certainly, uh, but it is a little bit scratchy there. It keeps up, the Ebonite feed allows for a beautiful flow. Um, I think the nib is well tuned. Uh, it, does a, it does a really, really nice job. It's not butter smooth, but you can see that it lays down a beautiful wet line of ink. And I think it's just a really lovely, pleasant writing experience. Personally, I think the pen size is great. I'll go into some pros and cons in a minute about that, but I think the writing experience, the feel of the pen in the hand and how it actually writes, I think is really, really lovely. Okay, cons for this pen. Firstly, I think one of the big cons, it's not necessarily a con, I shouldn't say that, because it's relative for everybody, but that price point, I think it's just, it's on the higher end of what I would see as, you know, kind of uh, appropriate for this pen. You're pushing 300 US dollars for a steel nib um, for a plastic pen. Like I know it's a very nice material and it's very nicely made, it's all handmade and it's Italian and all these things add premium to the price. And I think that's why it costs what it does. Um, I think that there are pens that are at this price point, definitely where you, where you are getting gold nibs that write as well as this. So you are paying for a few sort of details like, yeah, the, uh, the fact that it is a handmade Italian pen that's got a lovely unique material, all of those sorts of things. And it's a big pen and that's a, you know. Uh, the other issue I have is that I don't find it to be the most effective piston mechanism. Um, it is in-house made and all of that. It's got a, it's got, it's not a smooth piston. It's got like, I can't do it operator because there is still some ink left in there. Um, but it, it's sort of like, you can feel it working its way through. Um, which is fine, it, it, that's not my problem with it. My problem with it is that it's actually really hard to get a decent feel. They say that this piston can hold 1.5 uh, milliliters of ink, 
I would be very surprised if I ever got more than a milliliter. That and like yes, you can do the thing you know where you t turn it up the right way and you push the piston until the ink is at the top. And but in terms of classic filling of the pen, ink nib down into a bottle of ink. I think it's it. I just I just couldn't get it anywhere near its capacity. But there are lots of pros with a pen like this. Firstly, the size. It's a really lovely size pen in the hand. Like, it's a big pen. Uh, it fits comfortably. It ho holds very comfortably in the hand. The feel of the material in your hand and in your fingers is beautiful. And it's a beautiful looking material. That sort of frosted, transparent, you know, um, satin finish is just glorious. And for me, with this uh, ruthenium trim, I think it looks great. And then the last massive pro for this pen for me is the fact that it's got a really smooth nib that writes well, that writes reliably and consistently. Uh, it's wet, it's generous. That's what I look for in a pen. So this was the Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero Pura Anthracite Grey with ruthenium, ruthenium trim. Gosh, that's a mouthful. But a really long name for a really lovely pen. I think these guys are doing great things and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing sort of how they continue to develop their brand. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you wanna stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.